Hi, how are you all today? It's Stella Odi, crime fiction author, and I'm doing a book review today for crime fiction around the world. And this time it's set in Portugal, Lisbon, in Portugal. And it's written by Patricia Marquis. This is her debut fiction. She's got another one coming up, coming out, um, out at the end of the year, um, towards the end of the year. So this book is just amazing. I absolutely enjoyed it so much that I, you know, had to, I took it everywhere I went, including just going away for a few days. I actually took this book with me because I wanted to know what happened. She has created a world, um, so it's a lay, it's a police procedural, but with a supernatural um, aspect to it. So the population in this book are divided into people who are regular people and people who are gifted. And so children are tested to see if they have this gift. And the gift is kinetic and telepathy. So when the government tests the children, anyone, any child that shows an ability is registered and the ability has categories. So it's got levels. So level one, so it's level one to 10. So if you're in a mid level that you have a certain kind of power at that level, but because it's monitored and registered and there's guide, there's all sorts of guide and policies around this gift so the gifted uh in fact it actually reminds me of marvel uh comics marvel films where you have all the heroes with all their different kind of powers and the government's kind of like you know the people really angry that you know why should people have superpower these people can come and they can actually overpower us because they are not normal so this is the kind of world that um is in this book and in comes the lead protagonist. Her name is Isabel, Inspector Isabel Reyes. She's gifted. She's the lead and she's got her partner, Vorano. I'm sure I've get that wrong because I can't. Voronov. I think it's called, it's Voronov. Let me see. If, I'm, if his name is not here, forgive me for getting it wrong. I should have checked. But his name is, I think it's Voronov. Let's have a look. Anyway, so that so what happened is someone, of course, it's crime fiction, isn't it? So someone got killed, and that person that was killed, it kind of showed that the person was um, killed by somebody who was gifted. And now with all the so it's yes, yeah, I got it right, it's Voronov. So Voronov is surname. Voronov, Inspector Voronov. Is this is our partner? So someone gets killed, and it's a gifted that actually did the killing. So that means that that's a lot of pressure on it's Isabella's Isabel, because it's like the gifted are already feared, they're already being persecuted. Government pressures on them. Um, if the level of power goes up, in fact, there's rumors that maybe if the power goes up and this government deems it uncontrollable then those gifted go missing what i admire about patricia's writing is she's this is a world this is a very accomplished debut fiction because it's a world that she's tightly controlled tightly woven her prose her writing is elegant and simple her control of the plotting of the character of the world in fact, it's just incredible. I, I hope when I'm doing interviews in the future, I would really, really um, interview her and really, really get into her head because this is just an amazing book. Um, so what I said, I said, I said that um, the idea of two kinds of populace where you have normal and gifted brings to mind the Marvel heroes, like I said, and how they're persecuted by their, for their difference. So if you're not a Marvel fan, um, that's okay. But for me, you know, it's, it's just, you know, you just see that fear in the populace that you have these people amongst us. They have the superpower and they can overtake us. So, um, and, and Patricia kind of like peppers it with the food, 
Portuguese food, a bit of Portuguese language. Um, I can see some hints of diversity. I think Isabel is mixed. Um, there were hints there that she's a mix of Portuguese and Angola because she described her sister, Rita, as dark. So there's that in there. Um, Patricia's writing is exquisite and the attention to detail is just absolutely incredible. And I'm already intrigued. I was intrigued when I read the book. I wanted to finish it. So I do not see it as the book that is... Um, how shall I put it? It unfolds. It gently unfolds and draws you in. And you want to know more. And at the very end of it, there's she's put it there. Book two is coming. And I'm already looking forward to that. So kudos to Patricia for The Colors of Death. It's an incredible read. And I suggest you go get a copy. She's got the paperback is out as well. Um, get your copy and read this book. It's it's a, it's a beautiful find and tick the box for crime fiction around the world set in Lisbon so it's another 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 setting that you'd learn about and a world that she has created that definitely has many series coming thank you for listening